combat ship USS Canberra has officially been commissioned in Sydney. It's the first time a US Navy ship has been placed into service while in a foreign country. The significant ceremony marked a deepening of Australia's military ties with the United States at a time of uncertainty in the Indo-Pacific. It was a moment of history as USS Canberra was officially placed into service. The first foreign commissioning of a US Navy ship shows a mark of America's respect for its closest ally. Officers and crew of the USS Canberra, man our ship and bring her to life. It's an indication of patriotism. And a display of military might. Dignitaries also marked the milestone. They shared stories of bravery and sacrifice. I wouldn't be here today if not for the Australian Coast Watcher who arranged my father's World War II rescue after a Japanese destroyer sunk his PT boat. The namesake USS Canberra is a nod to the original HMAS Canberra, which sunk off Savo Island in World War II. They are genuinely siblings. And in all that they do, they carry with them the souls of the 84 people who were lost on that night. This star-spangled kangaroo will sit inside USS Canberra as it returns home to San Diego for deployment. A member of the Australian Navy will also be stationed on board. I didn't know a whole lot, but the crew has been very forthcoming with how great it is to live in San Diego, and I'm very excited to get over there. Uh, despite already having accommodation lined up, I know that I have 71 households that are willing to house me as well. The US Secretary of the Navy spoke about the timing of the commissioning. He's called on Australia and America to stand shoulder to shoulder as they confront global challenges and an assertive China. The People's Republic of China continues the rapid expansion of its Navy, leveraging its maritime organizational strength to coerce and intimidate its neighbors into accepting illegitimate maritime claims. A freedom of entry parade will be held in Canberra on Sunday, celebrating the ship and its namesake city. Julia Bradley, Sky News, Sydney.